Hey guys, welcome. I'm Ori. If you're watching Ori's Kitchen, so um, I'm not washing my hands because I mean, my hands are clean. But <laughs> but um, I kind of had to make this meal in advance, okay? And what I'm talking about is I actually made roast beef in the oven, okay? And the roast beef takes about three hours for it to make. Yes, guys, three hours. But it's okay. I put it in, I went and did my thing, came back. It's all good. So um, I actually made it for dinner last night. Sorry. And um, so it was fabulous but I saved a little piece to show you guys, okay? And as I'm talking, um, what Gabby has edited this um, episode, she is going and putting um, all the pictures that I that I've taken, okay? So um, as I'm talking, these pictures will be there and it should be quite easy for you, okay? Self-explanatory, okay? So first thing is I got a mini roast, okay? Um, so there should be a picture there, mini roast. Um, I use a two pounder, okay? So when I put the mini roast, it looks big, but then when I put it in the oven, it kind of shrinks down a little, okay, guys? So I use a two pounder um, for me and my husband, um, and again, I have a little leftover, so you guys can do this. And it depends how hungry you are, what you guys put on the side. I served it with a little bit of rice um, and some salad, okay, and some vegetables as well. So, you know, we had a big, good good dinner last night, okay? So I got a two pounder roast beef, mini roast, may I add, it's not, it's, it's exactly what it is. Mini roast is what I asked for, okay? And that's a little bit cheaper than other parts of the, of the in the deli department, okay? But it still tastes great. So I got a mini roast, and then what you're gonna do is you're going to rinse it off, and you're going to make some holes in the roast, in the mini roast, okay? There's a picture of that as well. And then I also got garlic cloves. So basically for the two pounder, I almost use the whole garlic, okay? And I make a hole in, a bunch of it in the mini roast, and I put one clove in the, in the hole. Or if the clove is way too big, cut it in half and put half of it in that hole, cut another hole and put the other half in there. You want to try to put as much as garlic cloves as you can in there, all over, on the top, on the sides, and on the other side, on the bottom of the mini roast, okay? And, and then you're going to rub some salt on it as well, okay? Now, I forgot to mention, this, is, um, this recipe is, I did not come up with it. My sister-in-law, Sipi, was kind enough to share that with me. She made it one time for Shabbat, and I was amazed with how wonderful it tastes. So shout out to CP June, thank you so much. Um, and so um, as I was saying, so uh, you put the salt, you rub some salt all over it. And what you do next is you get your oven bags. Now I use the large size oven bag, okay? Now if you're using a really big one and you're serving it for guests, let's say like a five pounder, right? You may want to use the turkey size. There's different sizes, okay? You can find these at the Rouse, Vons, even the Middle Eastern markets, okay? So this is your go-to. If you recall, I also made my juicy chicken in the oven and I also use these bags in my juicy chicken, okay? So you put the roast beef after you put the garlic and rub some salt on it, you're gonna put it in the bag, in a pan, of course, okay? And you can add vegetables in there too. So this time I put mushrooms, carrots, mini carrots, and I've also used these mini sweet peppers. There's a picture of that as well in my in the back, okay? There's a picture of that. And so I did all of that, and the most important ingredient is I use this. This is the wine that we use for Shabbat, okay? Um, but you can use any other type of wine that you would like, okay? Make sure you get the grape flavor. I think there's a cherry flavor. No, 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 don't get cherry, get grape, okay? So this one, they even have these at Ralph as I've seen them or the Middle Eastern market. So you get this and you pour that in your bath. Now, how much do you pour? You, you should just pour enough that if it only, it covers at least half of the mini roast, okay? So this was a full glass, okay? So when I made this last night, I used this much, this, this much is left over, okay? So that's how much I used, okay? And there's a picture of that as well for you guys, okay? So then I just closed it up um, and um, I don't like the thing, the little plastic thing that it comes with. 
I'm not too fond of it, whatever the little tight thing. I actually use um, mini um, paper clips, the small ones, and I use that and I close it up. And don't forget, guys, to puncture holes on the back so that when you put it in the oven, it can, creates a nice ventilation process in it going in and out inside the oven, okay? That's it. You put all of this in the oven, 400 degrees for three hours, okay? Now, in the meantime, maybe you know an hour and a half later, you go and you say, oh, the top part is kind of getting a little brown or black. I don't like it. No problem. You're gonna get a little bit of an aluminum foil and you're gonna cover it up so that the top part doesn't get black or brown. It's still cooking. It's still doing its yummy, juicy stuff, okay? And the same thing as I told you with my juicy chicken. It turns brown, put foil on it. Same exact concept, okay? So after three hours, it's beautiful. Even within an hour, your house is smelling glorious because of the, the wine that you put in, okay? And everything is gonna taste yummy. And then I also took a picture of the final outcome for you guys on a plate and stuff. So I hope you like how it looks like. Um, so I'm gonna go and get that for you and I'll be right back. Hey guys, okay, so this is what's left over of a two pounder, okay? <laughs> So um, as you can see, it turned a, like, a, um, like a dark color and that's because of the Shabbat wine, of the wine that I put in, so don't freak out. And it creates, it should create juice in there, okay? And so when you serve it, you can pour some of the juice on top of your roast beef to make it all nice and pretty, okay? So see, it, and it's so moist that it just literally just quickly falls apart. And this is from yesterday, guys. So look how good it still looks. And it's great for leftovers, okay? And this is something you can serve um, with the holidays coming up as well. This would be absolutely delicious, okay? So here we go. I don't really lie, it's great, man. So this is really good. Nice and moist inside, okay? You see that? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And this is the mushroom that I told you about. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So this one, it really has a full effect of the of the wine, which is great. Anyways, guys, so that's it. This is how you make one of my versions of roast beef. Thanks to CP. Thank you so much, so much, everybody, for watching my episode. Don't forget to subscribe and like and look at my nieces Gabby Shirazi's episodes as well on YouTube. Please tell your friends and family about me. Have a wonderful holidays. Happy New Year if I don't see you guys or talk to you guys soon. And please, if you have any questions, even regarding this, just message me. It's I will explain it to you clearly. But I do hope that these, these pictures are very useful and um, I explained it okay. All right, guys? Bye.